Put my life into pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> well, it's still September 13th, I think. And uh, I wanted to get this out here. Yeah, I went to X-Fest. Saw a lot of kick-ass bands. Anyway, uh, this one is the After Fight Afterthought for the uh, Anthony Peterson and uh, Brandon Rios fight that just happened. And I uh, want to give my thoughts about that. What happened this after fight afterthought? So you got the beginning before the fight, during the fight, and after the fight. And I start with the uh, after fight, which is the winner of the fight, and then I move to the afterthought, the loser of the fight. Okay. Obviously, so I'm going to start with Brandon Rios. You know, it is controversial. He won a disqualification and all that stuff. Uh, coming into this fight, he people were writing him off. They're like, "Who is this guy? Who who is this guy? You know, uh, is he a stepping stone for Peterson? I mean." Uh, Lamont Peterson is Anthony Peterson's brother, so, you know, maybe he's a foregone conclusion, and he is out to prove him wrong. And they go into this fight, and they go in, and they start banging. And admittedly, he said he was surprised that, you know, Peterson would do this. He thought he would stay more on the outside and not want to take it. But, hey, if he wants to walk down that aisle, you know, Rios is more than happy to oblige him. So they go in, they, they're, and they're banging, and... You know, he levels him in the fifth round. I mean, he legitimately hurt Peterson. And they're going in there, and uh, he's keeping the pressure up. He can sense that uh, he's, uh, you know, Peterson's frustrated. He's, he's, you know, off his game plan. He's not doing what he should be doing, and he's winning the fight, you know. And then the next thing you know, uh, Peterson decides to do the gong show, you know, on his jewels in the sixth round. Not once, but twice. I mean, just blast him going to Chinatown, man. You know, but he keeps his composure and everything like that. And then, you know, the seventh round comes, and he's still doing his work and everything like that. And then he takes Thor's hammer to the Sorcerer's Stones again. You know what I'm saying? He just, Peterson, he blasts him in the coolies, and he's like, mother... You know, and the ref steps in, stops the fight. I mean, he was winning on all the cards anyway. And it was looking like Peterson was going to be on his way out. So, and because this was a... I believe it was a WBA eliminator fight, you know. He is going to face the winner of the Juan Manuel Marquez, uh, Michael Katsidis winner of that fight. So he's in line for, for the title shot. He's in line for it. He's ranked 13th now. He'll probably move up a little bit, you know. So he's right there. He's 25-0, and 0, one draw. So, I mean, this guy's the limit for him too. I, I don't see him fighting anybody uh, before that, you know what I'm saying? Because why would you want to take a risk and, and lose your title shot. That makes no sense. Anyway, going over to Anthony Peterson, the afterthought. You know, he's got big name recognition off his brother and stuff. And, and hey, he's 30-0, and 0, you know, so it's not like he's, you know, some bum on, on the street there, you know. He's on the verge of absolutely blowing up, you know. He's, he's about to hit the big time. You know, he's fighting in the WBA Eliminator fight for the title. And, you know, a win and he's right there. He's He's in the limelight. He's cast away that shadow of his brother and he's got it all to himself you know comes in and i guess he said i'm gonna show you what a man i am and he goes in and he throws you know he doesn't do what he does well and he goes in and starts to bang with this guy and uh you know he's he starts taking a whip and he's getting out banged you know he's not fighting his fight but he's going in there and he says by you know i'm gonna do this you know fifth round he's leveled he goes down, you know, and you can see the frustration, uh, the confusion, everything that a fighter that's never had a loss that is about to lose, you start seeing all that come in. And he's going to the body, but he's throwing, he's really throwing wild. And then, you know, he cracks, you know, Rios two times in the coolies. You know what I'm saying? In the sixth round. And he loses the points, but it's not like he really cares because he knows he's losing his fight, you know. And he's hurt. And he has no answer to what's going on. Uh, Rios had a great plan. He comes in. He abandons his. So, you know, you'll have that. So in the seventh round, you know, you know, he, his, he's lost control of, of, he's lost all control. He's lost the fight. You know, he's, he's increasing frustration. Everything's setting in. And again, you know, he, uh, you know, he, he blasts Rios in the Stugats again. <laughs> He's like, ah, you like that? You know, and the ref steps in and 
stops the fight. You know, that's three three points, man. You know, if you play it right, you can legitimately whack somebody low four good shots. No, well, five four good shots before you're disqualified. You get disqualified on the fifth. The first one you get a warning. The second one is your second warning. The third one costs you a point. The fourth one costs you another point, and then you don't hit him in the groin anymore. Okay, that's that's a good. Uh, it's not a good formula. I mean, I've used it, but it's not a good formula. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so it's you know it's back to the drawing board with him. You know, he's got the loss out of the way, but what does he do now? Now he's got to think of, you know, he's really got to stick to his game plan. He's got to do what he does best. And maybe a David, David Diaz, uh, Kevin Mitchell, who just had that uh, loss to Ketsidis, uh Antonio DeMarco, who is a, well, he's a highly dangerous fighter, a very dangerous fighter. But these are guys that are in that 12 to 20 range that could get him back up to shoot back up into the, uh, you know, the title scene again. And, you know, it's going to take him a couple fights to do this. But he's going to have to fight some named guys in order to get back up there again. Because the first name guy or kind of name guy he fights, really, um, he, he punches in the groin, you know, like he's hitting a speed bag or something. Okay, so that's the uh, my after fight afterthought on this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I know Rios didn't, not while it was going on anyway. So uh, you have a great day, all right? Well, hey, this is Big Ragu. I'm out.